Boys and girls, this is the magic door to the wonderful magic toy shop. But to open it, you need a key. Mr. Announcer Man, Mr. Announcer Man, I'm Marilee and I know the magic key. Listen closely, boys and girls, and I'll tell you what it is. A smile is the magic key to the magic door to the wonderful magic toy shop. All you do is put your thumbs at the corners of your mouth, like this, and you turn them into a smile, you see? Tell you try it. There. A smile is the magic key to the magic door to the wonderful magic toy shop. Boys and girls, we're so glad to see you this morning. We're planning to go to our pretend ranch today. And Maestro says everyone's invited. Well, you certainly are. It won't be fun without you. That's right. How do you think we should start, Maestro? Oh, that's train music. Maestro wants to take a train to the ranch. And I'm really in favor of that because, after all, the trains are all members of the Transportation Association. Well, we'll take turn on the magic music box, and we'll take care of that right now. And I'll remind everyone of the magic words. They're bibbity bobbity boo two times. Are you ready? Here we go. Bibbity bobbity boo bibbity bobbity boo. The train is at the station. We'll soon be on our way. We're off to see the cowboys and visit for a day. train to the ranch. We'll go out on the roundup as all the cowboys do. We'll ride our pinto ponies and we'll be cowboys too. Choo, choo, the train goes over plains and rivers and valleys. At last, it stops at a little station. Breakfast for these youngsters, Joe? Okay, folks. Right over here to the chuck wagon. <laughs> What's that? That's one of the donkeys that pulls this chuck wagon. <laughs> now down on the ranch was a wild cayuse, and he neighed if he had the slightest excuse. <laughs> and the donkey, he tried it, but it came out wrong. Cause he hawked. Hee-haw was the donkey song. And then that donkey heard another sound. <laughs> Along came a steer, and the steer said moo. And the other steers heard, and they did it too. And the donkey, he tried it loud and strong. But hee-haw, hee-haw was still his song. Then he heard a howl in the way out over the prairie. <laughs> there was a prairie dog, and his great delight was to howl at the moon in the middle of the night. <laughs> and the donkey, he tried it all night long. But he hung, he was still his song. Yes, and then that donkey thought it over. Then the donkey said, if I can't be anyone like you, then I'll be like me. I may be right and I may be wrong, but hee-haw, hee-haw is the donkey song. <laughs> All done with your breakfast, partners? Well, come along and we'll get you some ponies to ride out of the big corral. <laughs> 
Here, see if you can get a pony yourself. There's a pinto pony in the big corral. There he runs, runs, runs all day. When I try to catch my pony in the big corral, then he runs, runs, runs away. Then it's round, round, round in the big corral with Billy and Susie and Tony. We run, run, run in the big corral for to catch a pinto pony. There's a pinto pony in the big corral. There he gallops, gallops, gallops all day. When I try to catch my pony in the big corral, then he gallops, gallops, gallops away. Then it's round, round, round in the big corral with Billy and Susie and Tony. We gallop, gallop, gallop in the big corral for to catch a pinto pony. No, kids, that's not the way to do it. Just offer him some sugar. He'll come to you. Then we all stand still in the big corral with Billy and Susie and Tony. We hold out sugar in the big corral and we catch a pinto pony. The cattle move slowly on to the mountain pastures where they graze all summer. We go back to the ranch where there's plenty of work to be done. I do my chore, I do my chore. You see me working through the big barn door. A pitchin', pitchin', pitchin' hay until the hay is done. I do my chore, I do my chore. You see me working with a big buck saw. I saw in, saw in, saw in wood until the saw is done. I do my chore, I do my chore. You see me in the barn at half past four. I'm milking, milking, milking cows until the milking's done. We do our chores, we do our chores. We never get through because there's always more. A working, working all day long until the day is done. The day is over now. The chores are done. And back we go to our train. Goodbye, Mr. Goodbye. 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 Our visit now is over. We're riding on the train. We visited the cowboys. Now we go home again. Choo, 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 choo. Oh, that was a very good idea, Maestro. He says, I have another. Would you tell us, please? He said, Rosin on the bow, and here we go. He'd like to have a hold on. And I liked watching the scorpions dancing in that Walt Disney film about the living desert. Well, then let's use a little one, two, three magic. Oh. One, two, three. Being native Westerners, the scorpions favor the lively rhythms of the square dance. All right, everybody. Choose your partners for the stingery. Lady and gent to the center of the ring. Lock those claws, lift that sting. Three legs up and four legs down. Whirl that scorpion round and round. Circle round and away we go. Sashay right with a do si do. Halfway round and back, back, back. Snap your clothes with a clickety clack. Gents to the left, ladies to the right. Now ain't that gal a pretty sight? Swing your partner, give her a hug. Get your hooks on a lady bug. Stingery, but watch out, gal, you don't sting me. Now, a man left with your insect fair and take your gal to you know where. Oh, that was fun. But now I think the boys and girls would like to have a hold on, too. And my 
orchestra says, I'll provide the music. And as our friend Archimedes might say, tickle those ivories, maestro. <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's play the fiddle. <laughs> Here comes the big bass fiddle. Mr. Trolley, please. Oh, I'd be glad to do that, but I'm going to have to think of a good story for this Western day. Will you take your time, Mr. Trolley? And while you're thinking, we'll share some information. As a matter of fact, we'll see it just as soon as I snap my fingers. You know, I do believe I thought of a good story for today. The one about my cousin, Bronco. Maestro said that's perfect, and I'll get ready to draw. Oh, Maestro said, I'm ready with the music. Will, will you check my listeners for me, Merrily? Oh, I certainly will. They're the most important part, Mr. Trolley. Oh, they're all settled down and ready to listen. Uncle Trump, and he had the run between Mesa City and Twin River Junction. Oh, he was a rootin', tootin', gun shootin' trolley, oh, but very law abiding. In fact, Bronco was a deputy marshal. Now, the story I'm going to tell you took place a good many years ago. Just how many, I don't even recollect. But I do recollect this. It was the hottest summer in history. All the trolleys at the Mesa City Car Barn were just sure their wheels were going to melt. In fact, even the cacti were out looking for shade. Well, on one especially hot July day, the mayor of Mesa City issued a decree. He stepped out on the balcony of the town hall and shouted, I hereby order everyone to go on a picnic. Close the stores. Close the bank. Forget about work. We're all going to Swallowtail Lake. And that's just what they did. Every single solitary soul in town went on a picnic. When Bronco Trolley came clanging wearily into town, he couldn't believe his eyes. He rode up Main Street, and then he rode down. He rang his bell louder and harder than ever, but nobody answered. Then he finally pulled to a stop in front of the general store. It was padlocked. Everything was locked, even the jail. Well, I'll be jiggered, said Bronco to himself. <laughs> this sure is a mystery. I'd better ride for the marshal. But just then, he noticed somebody moving inside the bank. So Bronco tip wheeled over as quietly as he could, and he looked in the window. Then he saw two hombres robbing the bank. They had red handkerchiefs over their faces, and they were toting the biggest guns you ever did see. They were working just as fast as they could, 
stuffing all the money into saddlebags. They were moving fast all right, but they were no match for Bronco Trolley. Bronco grabbed the lasso with his coat catcher, and when those robbers came out of the bank, Bronco threw the rope over their heads so fast they didn't even know what happened. And then Bronco rode round and round them and tied them up so tightly that they'd never be able to get loose. And you know, that's just how folks found them when they got back from their picnic. The mayor said, Bronco, you saved our town. We're proud of you. I hope you always have this run. And he always has. And that's why every summer they celebrate Bronco Trolley Day in Mesa City. And the band plays. And the mayor makes a speech. And the bank is closed. And so are all the stores and even the jail. Nobody stays home. Not a single solitary soul. That's their way of saying thank you to Bronco Trolley. That was a good story. Thank you, Mr. Trolley. You're very welcome, Early. I was happy to share it. Oh, Maestro heard you say that you were happy, and he knows that when you're happy, you like to sing, and I have a special request. Well, I'd say it's your turn for a request, Eddie Flumna. You just need it. I'd like Pony Boy. Oh, Maestro says hip, hip, hooray. He's glad that you made that choice, Eddie Flumna. And Mr. Trolley.